The QSC machine, I think it's about six or eight hundred a channel. I'm just going to try and plug her in. It's got balance inputs. It's been running my subs in my home theatre room, so just borrowing it for a bit just to hear what that amount of power running the second sub is going to sound like. Just to be clear, this whole thing is about me wanting one more channel. I'm just doing everything I can to verify that one more channel is going to give me the extra base support that I need just for those cranking at moments. Because I designed the system with two 12s, one's playing, and it's quite enough for 78% of the volume I want. And I used to have a channel, blah blah blah. Now I've got this here temporarily because you know I can be looking out for something a bit like this with three or more channels. So even this one itself won't replace the one that shot itself under there because it's, I've got two channels under there already that work. So I really need space and uh, there is an amp that I can get to replace this one with 12 channels but you know we're talking half the price of this car kind of thing. So. I'll just go with this little test and see what we can do. I'll probably just always get a little a little class D in here that's uh, balanced, something uh, home theatre orientated. Send a copy of my bass signal to that extra output. Alright, I've got my bass channel sorted. That used to read 7 mono instead of 7 8. And now I have a, a balance control. We can do it. All seven, which is how it used to be, or all eight, which will be the new amp, and the second 12, which is not turned on at the moment. So let's go and turn it on. First, I'll put this back here, and the gain I've set to minimum on the new amp, so we're not going to get any surprises. But you know, just in case there's any surprises. I'll try the power point. Now the power button. We don't have any signal yet. That's just the, the warm-up procedure. It's got a fan in it too. Great. Um, so I'm channel one. Channel one. And I'm gonna go and turn it up at the front now. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, I tested that just quickly off camera. Seamless. It's almost the same game too. Yeah, a little bit quieter. Um, so I'll just give it a little tickle on the gain. I'll come back. Okay. How about that much? So just as far as you and me, I'm going to play this much. See if YouTube gives me a strike for that. Maybe a bit too much there. Alright. It's feeling uh, it's feeling twice as loud in the the sub region which is meant to do. I'm just shaking the cabin a bit. So I never have it that high. Let's put it back. See the front eights are like doing like 80 90% of my base duties and the 12s I'll just start because the boots open and everything's flapping around um, yeah so I'm just going to give that a couple of listens could be the end of this video I guess I'm not going to say that this song is about an ocean or an astronaut but uh, yeah I had a wiring flip so basically both subs giving me that. Now, still getting some shaking. So yeah, 
twice as loud, easy. And so less volume needed, so less strain, which is the whole point of it. So I actually wired it up to make it worse. But anyway, it's just a test. And now we've got the right polarity. Don't know if we can even fathom that on a phone. And now I'm starting to shake shit. See what's really there. <laughs>